Good morning, good morning, good morning, yes, sir. Chummy. Well, I hope you have a good morning this morning. Hope you have a great day today. How you doing out there? Good, I hope. I really do hope you're doing good. Well, let's get to crack lacking here. Every morning, good way to start your morning, every morning. Uh, we're going to talk about brainwashing. You hear people say they get brainwashed, this and that. Well, we're going to talk about brainwashing. Every morning, when you get up, before you get going, you should wash your brain a little bit. You should clean some stuff out of there. Wash her up, scrub her down. And these are the things you should do, and this is how you should do it. Well, I'm not going to say should. This is an option you have if you if you want it, if you want to do it. If you want to wash that brain out so you can have a better day, pause for a little bit in the morning. Get quiet. Look up to God. Talk to him a little bit and listen. Listen. Connect to his peace and his grace. That grace is more powerful than anything you got going on in your head. Let that grace come down in and just clean your brain out, wash it out, and flow through your body and give you that sense of peace. What things should you wash out of your brain first thing in the morning? Worry, hate, fear, resentment, guilt, shame, negativity, any of that kind of stuff. Just take some time in the morning to get connected. Look up. Look up to God, up to the heavens, whatever you want to call it. And just get connected for a while. Just get quiet. Talk to God. Listen to Him. Listen to His grace. Let it come in and wash out your brain. If you start doing that, you're going to start having better days. You're going to start feeling better. Trust me. It, well, at least it has for me and, and some other people that I know. I wash my brain out every morning. Get rid of that stuff. Why? It's no good, man. It's just no good for you. Make you sick. That's all it will do. Keep you busy, getting you nowhere, and make you sick, and help you to not enjoy life. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of like enjoying life. Life is short. I like to enjoy it. I was reminded again this weekend of how quickly life goes by and how short it can be. Uh, and all the time you spend with that crap in your mind, it's just going by and you're missing it. And once your time is spent, you can't get it back. We've talked about that before. So take a little time and wash your brain. If you do that in the morning... It's like, you know, you worked a hard day and you're all sweaty and hot and gross and yucky and you take a hot shower and wash your body, how good that feels. Oh, you get out of that shower and you're like, oh man, that felt good. Ah, wow, that just felt good. Nothing like it. Well, do that with your brain and you feel just as good. Wash out your brain and, and your heart at the same time. You know, you wash them thoughts out of your brain and let God wash them out of your heart and just clean them up and, and allow room for peace in there. See, you only got so much room in you for stuff you know there's only so much room for emotions and feelings and stuff in there and if you're all filled up with negative feelings like hate and resentment and fear and worry and guilt and shame you got no room for peace and love and happiness and joy and excitement i don't know about you but i'd rather have the peace and love and joy and happiness and excitement in there filling me up than that other stuff so take some time and get washed out and, and allow room for that other stuff to, to come in. Like a tide, you know, let that wash and take that other stuff out with the tide and let the new tide bring in the peace and happiness. You know, if you get really connected to God and you're really listening to him and allowing his grace to flow in, you're going to get filled up with that other stuff. And it's going to make for a much better day and a much better life. Again, that's just been my experience. So it's totally up to you. You don't have to believe me. But try it and see what happens. You try it for a while. Don't just do it for a day. Give it a little bit of time. Now, listen, nobody's going to be perfect at it, you know. Uh, I'm, for the most part, I'm a pretty happy guy. But that's, that's not always the case. Sometimes things happen in life and you get, you know, you get down or there's just stresses in life and it starts to get to you. But if you can practice that every morning, you start learning how to get rid of it and let it go sooner and not carry it as long or, or the burden is not as heavy i've had to deal with some pretty heavy things in my day and when i get connected in the morning and let god wash that out of me it it just makes it a little bit easier it just makes it a little bit easier uh, and one thing i learned though is it doesn't matter how spiritually fit you are you're not immune from the effects of being human you're going to feel your emotions and that's okay that's okay but this is one way to help you um lighten the burden and get back to being into a place of happiness a little sooner when i don't do that you know those those negative forces of the, that i talked about the hate and all that stuff and the resentments they are dominant they, they're hanging around they they're ruling the roost but when i do 
check in with God in the morning and wash my brain out and wash my heart. They don't rule the roost. Peace does. And that comes in quicker and it's much better. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Over.